first thing I want to talk about is the fact that I'm missing all my panties. How do you open your drawer and find every pair you hate and none of the ones you like? Okay, yes, I've got four daughters. But every one of those daughters wears thongs. And I only wear thongs in an extreme emergency. I don't get it. I don't like them. Yes, they work wonders with hiding the line. But who could walk around with that feeling all day? <laughs> Come on, is it an acquired taste? <laughs> If so, I haven't gotten there yet. But the bottom line is, in my drawer are all those old granny pants that I haven't worn in probably five years that I just haven't thrown out in case of an emergency. <laughs> But none of the ones that I love, they're all gone. Years ago, I'd blame it on the dog. He used to find them and take them and just eat them. Ew, but it's what they do. And I'd run around the house screaming, where are my panties? And then I'd see a pair hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> and all the girls would stop and look at me with that look on their face. You know, oh my God, mom. At one point, I even worried about my son. I mean, every mom has to worry at some point that their son is doing things they're not supposed to be doing. Well, I didn't really worry about that, but it was just a fleeting thought. My nephew even lived with us at one point. Who's gay? He could have taken them and done whatever with them. And then at another time, I worried that it was my husband. Maybe we weren't sexually active enough. Maybe he needed a pair for his own, you know... Oh my God, the things that go through my head are just insane. But how do you lose a drawer full of panties? Bottom line is, I still haven't found them. And some of them were so pretty. You know how when you put on the right pair of panties, you just feel good the rest of the day? Like you've got a secret that nobody else is going to know, but you know. You know. They don't need to know as long as you feel good about yourself. And damn it, those panties make me feel good about myself. Where are they? Mm. I even stooped to the level of searching through my kids' drawers. Oh my God, the things I found. Thongs that I never even knew existed. Thongs that say things. Why would my 15-year-old be wearing something like that? Who's she talking to with that part of her body? I found things in my son's drawer. I don't want to go there. At least I know he's normal. Let's put it that way. But what was really sad was going in my 11-year-old's drawer and finding her little beanie baby that she carried around for seven years. I mean, nonstop carried around. Happy? I found him in her drawer. When did that happen? All these things I found out, I didn't go through my husband's drawers. I was absolutely afraid to find out anything from him. Some things are better left unknown. So after all is said and done, And I'm standing here recording this with nothing on because I can't find anything. But nobody's home, so they can't see me. <laughs> That was way too much information, I know. <laughs> But I mean, after all was said and done, and after I searched through all the drawers and questioned every perp that could have been, I realized on my chair, in my room, is a stack of clothes that was underneath my bathroom. I found all my panties. I can now go get dressed, pick out my favorite pair, and hide them. I need to find a new hiding spot. Problem with that is, I'll forget where I hid them. That's who you're dealing with on a daily basis. Your typical cyber mom. Wife, soccer mom, in her own field mom. All the other good things that go with that mom. Have a great day. <laughs>